Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog series. It's a bit of an earlier morning for me because I got up early and actually recorded the Galaxy S21 recap video before the event took place because there were so many leaks about it. And that worked out perfectly, thankfully, because all the leaks ended up being true. So yeah, the recap video was posted before the event was happening. But that means I have a little bit more free time in the rest of the day, which is kind of fun. And in today's video, I essentially wanted to talk a little bit about of a new community I'm noticing in YouTube kind of spring up and not sure if it's been super well established, but I feel like it's picking up a lot of traction recently. And that is space channels, which most of the time involve covering SpaceX news, which in case you don't know, is another Elon Musk run company. And it involves the mission statement of making life multi planetary and there's a lot of development going on in the SpaceX world mainly surrounding Starship and I find it really really interesting because this company that's still private you know it's not public is trying to make rockets more reusable so that spaceflight can be cheaper and they want to send you know people to the moon and Mars and beyond and they're expecting to have like people on Mars at some time this decade and I feel like a lot of everyday people don't know about that type of stuff and there's definitely been some comments and we've talked about it in Talos of Talks like streams in the past about uh, Drew expanding into the space sector because we're finding all these other channels that are making different space content. And I do want to shout out a few because I want people to know about this, that it's an interesting category. And I think that the innovation and the pace of progression is way more fascinating in the SpaceX world than it is in the consumer tech like smartphones and iPads. And that's what most of you probably know me from is, you know, AirPods and the Apple Watch and, you know, covering consumer technology we can buy. But I think a lot of that is starting to stagnate and get less interesting, especially after watching the S21 event today. It was like, yeah, we literally predicted all of this and we knew all of the specs before the event even happened. And I don't think this problem is going anywhere. I think that in time, phone launches and phone events and that kind of thing are just going to get more and more and more predictable. Whereas watching SpaceX develop their Starship and watching other companies like Electron work on rockets out in New Zealand and Blue Origin is also working working on some rockets, though they can't really seem to get anything to orbit yet. But having humanity explore the outer rims of space and having our understanding of space travel expand and making it more approachable by private companies developing more space vehicles is really exciting to me. Maybe some of you don't find it exciting, but I always feel like there's stuff to talk about with Starship prototypes and what the potential of Starship could be. And I don't really think that I can do a better job than the channels I'm watching. So for one, highly, highly recommend a channel called What About It. He's a guy out in Germany, but the coverage is so in-depth and he's fun to watch and he goes way into detail about all of the great things that SpaceX is doing or other companies are doing. Another great one I've been watching is SpaceX Centric, who keeps things pretty funny. He has lots of movie references and he keeps things concise and digestible. Marcus House is another channel I'm subscribed to, so I highly recommend subscribing to these guys if you want to follow more of the space industry. And it's just a very positive one, it feels like it's not as toxic as maybe the EV community or the tech community when it comes to smartphones and brand loyalty and that kind of thing. Of course, with any community, there's going to be a certain level of haters and fanboys and people that are critical, but the space community has been pretty wholesome so far. And a few channels you can watch to keep up to date with like 24-7 access of what's going on in Boca Chica, Texas is NASA Space Flight. They have a great channel. Another one is Lab Padre. They have like multiple live streams going 24-7, so you can always see what they're doing on the Starship and just yesterday, I mean, they had like three static fires for the S9 prototype, which was insanely cool to have that many static fires, which is basically like revving up the rockets to make sure they work. And it sounds like in the next week or so, we could see S9 fly and try to land again. So this kind of technology is really fascinating and exciting to me, but I don't think I have the time in the day or maybe necessarily the know-how or the intelligence that these other guys have. The channels I listed just a second ago are really, really in depth and really smart. And they really know the stuff they're talking about. Everyday astronaut. I'm sorry, I forgot about him. He's just so much bigger than the rest that you probably have already heard of him. But I've been watching Everyday Astronaut uh, since before he hit 30,000 subscribers. I actually found him on the little creator on the rise tab. Now he's blown up and he's gotten a lot bigger than that. He's interviewed Elon Musk even, which is cool. And there's just so many more great space channels out there. And I don't really know how I can offer something much better or much different than what they're offering. And you know, I also 
also do a lot of live streaming and broadcasting between Twitch and YouTube. So I've seen a lot of people suggest, Drew, why don't you do like live reactions to the launches? And the real reason I don't is because they are so like unpredictable. So as someone who's really excited about the space community, I do have to also admit that it gets really, really annoying how many times launches get scrubbed or launches get delayed. And people are like constantly asking in the Lab Padre streams, like when is the next static fire? When is the next launch? When is the next flight? And all day people are asking like, when is it happening? When is it happening? And all the mods there and all the members and the returning people are just like, we don't know, okay? There's no set schedule. SpaceX could launch their next Starship like tomorrow or they could launch it in five weeks because we really just don't know. The weather can cancel stuff, uh, parts can go bad and these rockets are very, very expensive and easy to explode. So you gotta be extra careful with them, which means every time I try to do a live stream before a launch starts, it could get scrubbed and then it ends up being pointless. And you have to be very, very flexible with your schedules if you wanna live stream your reactions to like Falcon 9 launches, most of which are just for like satellites and Starlink missions and that kind of thing. And I try to watch them when I can, but having to like make time to live stream for every launch or even just some launches would just be so difficult because sometimes they will call off a launch at like the last second. And that's probably the most frustrating part about the space community is just the unpredictable schedules of all the rockets. But when stuff does happen, it's incredible. And during the last Starship SN8 launch, my face was like glued to the TV. And you can ask Louise, I was like screaming the whole time. I was like, whoa, oh my God, this is real. It's happening, it's flying. So when stuff does happen, it's fun. But at the same time, there were like three attempted flights of Starship. So that would be a lot of live streaming and it would interrupt my fairly fragile schedule of trying to make content for tech and EV and doing the vlogs and everything. So I don't really have the flexible schedule to make just live streams for reactions, but, and you know, I keep it in the back of my mind of like, oh, maybe this would make a good space video. So I guess I'm not making any too big a promises here, but I did make one space video on a Talos of Space channel. I know, I have too many channels, it's a problem. But I had to go back to my original cause when it came to the Talos of network. The goal was not to have as many active channels as possible. The goal was you didn't subscribe to anything that you didn't ask for. So with Talos of Space, I don't plan on being very active there. In fact, there might not be any new videos on that channel for the next year, or they may not be from me. Nick Ann Sweeney is also a big space fan and he has made space content and is worked with a good fan of ours, DJ, on the Talos of Space podcast, and I think they plan on doing more of those, so Nick might be posting some stuff to Talos of Space in time. I just have no timelines and I have no, like, steady schedule of space content planned, but yeah, whenever I do happen to get an idea or whenever I happen to feel like, hey, maybe this is something not very many people are talking about, I might occasionally post stuff to that channel, but it's definitely, you know, too small to be making any money, and some of you may not be interested in that subject at all, and that's fine, because for the record, I've met a lot of people in my life that are kind of done or annoyed by how often I talk about SpaceX and Starship and that kind of thing. So if it's not interesting to you, don't worry about it. I totally get that. But if that is something you're thinking about, if you're like, man, you know, this tech content is getting all redundant. How many times have I heard the new Samsung has this display or the next iPhone's gonna have a smaller notch, the A15 chip or the Apple Silicon or whatever, you know, you get bored of the same stuff over and over again. So when it comes to getting excited for future and developing technologies, the space industry is one that I'm seeing a lot of interest in and I'm personally having a lot of fun watching and being a fan of this community, not so much a creator in it. And I think that's probably how it's going to stay, at least for the foreseeable future. If I can somehow think of regular content to post to the Space Channel, I mean, it might be a different situation. You know, just a couple of years ago, I used to say that now nah, I didn't have the time or energy or know how to make an EV channel. And now I'm making EV content every day, pretty much. So time can change, but I just thought I'd let you know, kind of give it a slight soft launch that yeah, there, there kind of is a space channel, but don't expect too much on it for the foreseeable future. And even if you don't want to watch Talos of Space, I highly will recommend the channels I listed and I'll put them in the description of this video because I think it's a really cool up and coming industry and it's probably going to get increasingly more popular as time goes on. So feel free to check it out. I think it's really fun and science based and exciting stuff for humanity as a whole and space travel. So thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.